We are going to continue with domain and range here and do some more examples here. So feel free to pause the video as we go along and try them and then push play to listen to the explanation. So we're going to find the domain. So domain is all the x's. So here's the x-axis. So the x-axis goes left to right. So we're going to look at the graph from the left to the right. So if I go to the left side right here, this is the furthest left right here, and there's an arrow. So that means this graph keeps going and going and going, and this is the negative side, so negative infinity, comma. And then as we go to the right side, this is the furthest right, but it keeps going and going and going, and this is the positive side, so the domain is all real numbers. The range are all the y values, so the y axis here goes up and down, so the range is always from the bottom to the top. So if we look at the graph at the bottom here, there are arrows at the bottom, and they keep going and going and going and going, and the negative numbers are down below here. So we're going to have negative infinity, and then we're going to go to the top of the graph. So if we go to the top of the graph here, it doesn't keep going and going and going. This is the most top point right here, and that point has a y value of 5. We're going to use a bracket because it includes this 5. It's solid. So the only time you use a parenthesis is if there's an infinity or if it's an open circle. So like, for example, example 7 here has that open circle, whereas this one doesn't have that, so we're always using a bracket unless it has one of these. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and try number 7. So the domain is from the left to the right. So from the left to the right. So if we look at the left side, it stops here at negative 5. This point right here is at negative 5. We're going to use a parenthesis because it's an open circle, so the graph doesn't keep going. That's why we're not putting infinity. Then we put a comma, and then as we go to the right side here, it stops here. It doesn't keep going. There's no arrow. So it stops here at 5. This x value, because the domain are all the x values, the x value of this point is 5. And we're going to use a bracket because it's solid there. Okay, now the range are all the y values, so we look at the y-axis. And we go from the bottom to the top. So the bottom of the graph is right here. The graph never goes below my marker here. So the most bottom point is all, all of these right here. And they all have the same y value, negative 2. So we're going to use a bracket, though, because these are all solid here. Even though this one means use a parenthesis, a bracket means there is a point that use it, has a y value of negative 2. So even though this is open, these are all solid. Okay, then we put a comma. We go from the bottom to the top. So all of these points here are the very top of the graph. It never goes above my pen. So the y value here is 2. And we're going to use a bracket because it's solid here. Go ahead and pause the video and try number 8. So the domain is the x-axis, which goes left to right. So if you look at the graph on the left side, it's going to keep going and going and going. So negative infinity, comma, and if we look at the right side, it keeps going and going and going. So positive infinity. Then the range is from the bottom to the top. So if we look at the bottom of this graph, it never is going to go below my marker here. So this is the most bottom part of the graph, and all of these points here have a y value right here at negative 3. And we use a bracket because it's solid right here. And then as we go from the bottom to the top of the graph, it keeps going and going and going. So positive infinity.
Go ahead and pause the video and try number nine. So the domain is from the left to the right side. So the left, this point right here, is the furthest to the left. So domain is all the x, so we're looking at the x-axis, and the x value of this point is negative 4. We're going to use a bracket because it's solid. And then if we go to the right, this is the furthest point to the right, and the x value is 3. And we're going to use a parenthesis because this is an open circle. Okay, then the range is the y-axis, so we look at it from the bottom to the top. So if we look at the graph at the bottom, here's the most bottom point. It never goes below my marker. That's the most bottom. And we're looking at the y-axis when we do the range. And so the lowest y value is negative 5, and we're going to use a parenthesis because this is an open circle here. And then as we go to the top, this point here is the top point of the graph. And the y value for this point here is 5. And we're going to also use a parenthesis because it's an open circle. Go ahead and pause the video and try number 10. So the domain is from the left to the right. So if you look at the graph on the left, there's an arrow. So negative infinity because it's going to keep going and going and going to the left. And then same thing on the right, it keeps going and going and going. Okay, then the range is from the bottom to the top. So from the bottom, it's never going to go below the x-axis. So these points here have a y value here of 0. And we're going to use a bracket because it's solid. The graph is solid. And then the range is from the bottom to the top. And when we go to the top of the graph, it keeps going up. Go ahead and pause the video and try the last one. So the domain is from the left to the right. So if we look at the left right here, this is the furthest to the left. It never goes further. So this point right here has a x value of negative 2. We use a bracket because it's solid, comma. And then we go to the right. And that's the furthest point to the right, and it has an x value of 2. So again, the domain are the x values and the range y values. So we go from the bottom to the top. So if we look at the graph, this is the bottom of the graph, and the y value there is 1. We're going to use a bracket because it's solid. So from the bottom to the top. So that y value is 5.